And welcome back to yet another awesome electric finger style lesson here on Lickin' Riff in which we're gonna get funky and we're gonna learn how to play this awesome pattern. Right? Now, the secret sauce here is the bass movement because the pattern is actually pretty easy. Okay, you start with this A chord. Okay, it's a D shape. Okay, it's a D chord shape, but it's on strings two, three, and four, and you play it on five. So the chord is actually A with the open A string, and it's A7 because you basically have strings two, three, and four out of the A7 chord shape. So you're playing it as a D shape. So it's five, six, and five on strings two, three, and four. So you play, I start with the chord being played twice. Okay, so I play the whole chord, strings two, three, four, and five, and then I immediately play the chord again, strings two, three, and four. Okay. Okay, that's what I do. I play the chord twice, okay? The bass note only comes around once, okay? You, you don't play it, okay? You don't want that blockish sound. You want the bass note to continue. And then I slap, okay? So it's da-da, pa, okay? Da-da, slap. And then the next move is basically the end of the pattern. I take this chord down one fret, okay, and I play it, strings two, three, four, and five, and I slide it up back to A. That's basically the whole pattern. Now, the secret sauce is in the bass notes. Now, you can play two, three, four, okay? Right? That's one ending. Okay? You can also play strings two, three, and four as a G chord, okay? Open. Anywhere you want during the bass move. Right? To create that slap bass sort of idea. Okay? Right? That's the sound that we're going for. So I'm playing open strings. I'm playing the open second, third, and fourth strings. Okay, my fingers are always on strings two, three, and four. Now, you can play two, three, four, okay? Or you can play the G chord and then two, the G chord and then G, okay? To get that funky slap feel. And I twang the, the string. I pull it so it slaps the fretboard. Okay, that's, that's what I do. Okay, it's chord, bass, chord, bass. Okay, the movement is out, in, out, in. Okay, out with the chord, in with the bass. Now, Sometimes I do two, three, four. Sometimes I do the chord two, chord three move. Okay, and sometimes I play two pull off to zero, three pull off to zero, four pull off to zero. And if you noticed, I played the G chord before the bass move. Okay, the G chord and then two pull off to zero. And sometimes I don't play the chord twice. Sometimes I play the A bass alone. Okay, I play da da da, and then instead of da da, okay, instead of that chord twice at the beginning, I just play bass and then chord. 
okay? To create a little bit of interplay. So that's the pattern, basically. It's a lot simpler than you thought it is, right? But the whole difficulty of this pattern is in the finger style, okay? It's in the dynamics. It's in the way that you execute it, okay? So um, let me give you just a couple of slow examples and then I'm gonna speed it up. You can do whatever you want. I did two, three, two, zero. Hammer on, double pull off on the bass, and then two. Okay? Two hammer on to three, maybe. I don't remember exactly what I did. I improvised. One last piece of advice, you can add more to the pattern itself, okay? You can do A, D, A, okay? You can bar seven. You can hammer on the six on the third string. can add more funky uh, ideas to this but first make sure that you have the pattern down and that you have the dynamics right okay don't be afraid of the strings pull them off twang them okay let them slap the fretboard that's what funk is all about um, so um, I will see you in the next lesson subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and uh, check out my break your boundaries course program my full course program lickandrefcom slash courses the Break Your Boundaries course program. Check it out, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Enjoy.